Okay, um, we're gonna talk about the art of picking. And um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about a, a lot of uh, um, picking things I've been through over the last few years as well as uh, the, mass, the, the uh, final goal. Um, the final goal, and I'll just tell you right now, is uh, to be able to hold your hand as you're picking in such a way that um, you're, um, you're not gonna hold your hand this way when you strum downwards and change your hand like this. So what, you, what you're gonna learn how to do is, is you're not gonna tilt your hand this way and do this. You need to hold your pick lightly so it glides over all your strings. Now, so, and, and Roy, if you can get a shot in here. So as you'll see, when I use my pick, I'm just gliding over the strings. I'm just gliding over them. And I'm not digging in in any way, shape, or form. I'm not digging in. If these are my strings right here, then I'm not digging into the string, past the string. I'm just barely brushing them, barely brushing over them. Uh, and another thing I, that I do, and I learned this from some uh, top people in the last few years, I've taken some lessons from some uh, uh, rock stars. And so and then they told me I can't say their name. <laughs> but so anyway, what they taught me was, and this was the greatest thing, was to relax my shoulder and to uh, uh, slant my pick in such a way where, so the, if you look here, Roy, see how my pick is flat to the strings? You don't want to do that. You want to slant it like this. So you want to relax this shoulder, slant this pick, and barely scrape on top of things. And now, on top of that, um, Swiss Picks has helped my picking. Um, they have a lot of different um, colors uh, 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 and different styles of picks to use. They have the, your, your jazz picks. Um, they have glow-in-the-dark picks. They have uh, a lot of different colors. They have one pick that's a, um, a green pick that is called, I think, nuclear green. That's just the coolest color. Um, I think I have one here. I'm trying to find it now. Uh, but here is your, uh, here's the uh, glow in the dark uh, Swiss pick. And this is, uh, a guy has a round tip. You'll see there, Roy, that on the round tip there on, on that one. Um, this is like a good uh, all average, um, kind of all around use, like a medium. It feels like a medium, just a little bit stiffer, but pretty much a, a medium. It's a really great pick. Um, the, uh, the green one I was talking about is this one here, the nuclear green. Uh, I just like it for the color alone, uh, just a great color. Uh, the main pick I use is the 2.0s. And you can see the sharp uh, tip that they have on these uh, picks. This particular design, the way that it uh, glides over the strings, helped my picking like there's no tomorrow. So by these people teaching me on how to slant my pick, like this, slant my pick, relax my shoulder, and then use this particular pick that glides. Now I started with a, the size 1.5 but I've now advanced to the 2.0s because it's, uh, you have to be a little bit more accurate, but the pick does more work for you. So in other words, what I mean by that is, is so when you use, when, I, when I, the pick just kind of glides over the strings like for arpeggios, they just, it just glides right over the strings. It's amazing, and then as far as speed, it has helped my speed just amazing. I can't believe it. So the pick really helped me. But the thing about it is, is after I learned how to use these picks, I can now use other picks uh, better than I used to. So Swiss picks has really helped me. And but the and then the coaching that I've had through some uh, friends and, and how to pick correctly. So once again, uh, oh, and, and one last thing I want to comment on and that I get asked on is how you hold a pick. And the way I hold a pick, as you can see, my thumb is uh, uh, kind of like at a 90 degree, 90 degree angle to the tip, so to speak. But the back, the finger kind of is going in more straight towards the tip. So like my finger is kind of like pointing where the tip goes, so to speak. But the thumb, you can see, is on an angle like that. So there's the back, how my finger is on the back, and there's how my thumb is on the front. So picking is very important. Uh, these are pretty much all my secrets that uh, have really helped me. And so um, also picking exercise, uh, check out uh, my video, World's Greatest Picking Exercise, which basically is this. Learning how to just barely scrape your string. 
So watch that video and it'll help you as well. But these are all the things that um, I have done to help me master picking. <laughs> Practice. Have a great day.